Hello, how's it everyone? It has been a while since my last YouTube video. There's been a lot happening. I started a new business making activewear. I put a couple of snaps of what I've been busy doing on the side here. Let me know if you want a video on it. And also back injuries, but anyway, I digress. I'm doing this video today because it was my birthday on the 30th of July and one of my friends from Joburg, Socht, he actually sent me something, but it only arrived today and it is now the, oh, what's it is? 5th of September. So I am like dying to know what this is. The weight has been tortured to say the least. I'm going to open this up. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. So we are going to find out together. I just thought I'd film it in case it's appropriate for the YouTube channel. So let's find out, shall we? Wow. I continue opening this. I've just torn it open. I don't even know what it is. Uh, you can see my studio looks new before I've repainted it and got a little hello sign and I've got a standing desk for my back problems so I'm one happy camper so let's see oh my gosh what is this I think I'm gonna cry Do you know what this is? From able to act, act point shoes. No, no, no. Okay, I'm actually shaking. Are you serious? Are you serious? He said it's coming from Germany. Makes sense, because act point shoes are from Germany. I'm Point shoes should really melt with the dancers' feet. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Look, I'm shaking. You are lying to me right now. Yes! I haven't even opened the box yet. I just saw the packaging on the outside and I was like, oh my gosh, act! act. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is just a one man. Wait, wait, wait. Can you say that again? I'm going to put it on audio so that uh, the filming can hear it. Okay, say it again. In our culture, uh, if you give her shoes as a present, the person walks away. So you have to give her any points or anything because the same as like a wallet. You, can't, you don't give an empty wallet to a person as a gift. Oh. So yeah, you owe me one red. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's a deal. I will give you one rand. Sold to me. <laughs> Gosh, I'm shaking. Yes. Have you taken a video of it? I'm busy doing it now. So, uh, <laughs> sweating. I'm shaking. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this generous gift. <gasps> Go. I'm just gonna open it like this here and show you guys. Yeah. Okay. That I am holding these in my hand. I cannot believe it. Okay, so there's that. Okay, here is the strapping. Yo, I'm gonna to have to figure this out because oh my gosh. I don't know. I've been stalking their Instagram for the longest time. <laughs> okay, so this is the skin. so many times like all you need is a pair of egg point shoes and I'm always like yes and now I have them this I think is the strapping or the tape and then this is the, the inserts okay their packaging is so beautiful guys look at this it comes in this bag like this it's got hashtag able to act These are the right side, Lord. Please let these be the right size. Oh my gosh, look at the tip. Oh my 
what the website tells me. UK size six, looks like it is the right size. So I'm gonna try them on now. The problem with this floor is that because it is conveyor belting, and I've told you guys this many times before, the black actually comes off onto shoes and that if you turn or twist. So I'm going to try them on on a towel now. And then what I'm gonna do is tomorrow when I go to the studio, I'll try them out properly over there. I'm gonna see how to build them together first. So I'm gonna watch a couple of tutorials on that. Just washed my feet so that I don't dirty anything just yet. I just want to see. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't finish opening it, you guys. What is this? Because I was like, where are the other laces that hold the sole onto the foot? And I just looked in here and there's still stuff in here. There's toe pads, act toe pads. Oh my gosh, there's the silicone filled ones. Oh my word and these kinds of toes um pads are so expensive actually but it comes in a little bag i cannot i cannot i can't okay here it is this is where this is okay i was wondering where these things were that's how i was a little bit confused okay so this is the lace that you actually use to Put the point shoes on your feet. I was also just watching how to check that the, this part of the shoe actually fits your foot. Because first you put your toe caps on and then you take, okay, so this is the left foot, it's engraved on the side there, and you put your foot in. In order for it to be a perfect fit, now there shouldn't be a gap over here or over there. Bunions. I don't really have bunions, but those, you know, those bones that I'm talking about, they are actually held inside here. So they're not sticking out of this part here. I think if that was happening as well, that would be a problem. Yeah, these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to film it on the phone and put it on the side because I don't want to be moving the camera up and down. Okay, so. So to me, that looks like it is a perfect fit. My arch is lifting up a little bit there, but I just want to check on her video to see if hers was doing that. But that looks perfect to me. Okay, and you see what I mean? The bunions are in there. These feel so comfortable. Okay, so now basically I'm going to tape it around this part over here so that it doesn't, because this has got space to move, so we don't want it to move now. A toe box like that. I do have very archy feet, so she says this is good for that, so I don't know. I'll try the medium one. In the skin now. Oh, see what they mean about this being a stiffer fabric and this being more movable. Yo! Hey! Let's see how to insert it into the. Okay, wait. How did she do that? Okay, like this. Open your skin. Let's try this again. Let me watch it closely. Open like that. And put it in just like that. And then you just pull it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a bit of a challenge. What? Ah. Oh, okay, like that. So you like walk it and I think. Oh gosh. Oh my word. Okay, this is a bit of a challenge. Wait a minute. I need to watch that again. <laughs> Let me take it out again. Oh, <clears throat> okay. All right. Got it. Okay, I just had to stop filming for a bit because I was trying to figure out what was what was happening. And it was taking a while for me to get the skin on, but I managed to get it on. So now, the 
point shoe is on. Oh my word. <gasps> Whoa, okay, I can feel that is a holding. Oh my greatness. <gasps> These shoes are actually gonna stop me from like overarching. <gasps> I've got it a bit high. Like it feels like it's like really like pulling me back on my block. So I just want to lower down that strap because what happens is, let me show you quick. So I'm going to loosen it quite a bit and see how that goes before I start changing the positions of the straps. Now let's see. Oh yeah, that already feels better. Just loosening that strap a bit. Wow, these are insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is incredible. Oh my lord, what a beautiful point shoe, you guys. Okay, I need a, a little bit looser because I still feel like it's like trying to pull me. Oh, my foot is cramping. See what I mean? I haven't done like proper ballet for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I just started putting my point shoes on on Monday again and it's Thursday now. I want to just move that strap a bit just to be a little itty bitty bit um, lower. No, so this one here. Oh my gosh, this woman that thought of this idea is so incredible. So I have got the thinner strap on the first two gaps. And then I've got the white medium strap on the last two, like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put them on again and see how that feels. Tighten over here. Mom, wait till you see this. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit looser there, okay? And then this one, a bit looser as well. There you go. Let's see how that goes now. This is such a beautiful thing about these point shoes that they are adjustable according to what feels right for your foot. And I want to tell you, they are so comfortable. Okay, yeah, that, yes, that is the right place for my shoes. Definitely. Oh, yeah, but sir. Oh, my word, Papa, look at this. Mm. Oh, my gosh, Carmen. And listen to this. You can decide where you want to put the straps. These straps here, do you want them lower to support your arch more? Do you want more bend in your arch? And then it fits into there like a glove. Brilliant, hey? They are so comfortable, Mom. No, the, the black one. Look at that. Oh, my word, they're stunning. Oh! Oh! Uh, no, that is for support on the, that's the straps that go around here. No, that's the thing, is that you only replace parts of the point shoe that are worn out. That's what's so amazing about them, you don't have to buy a whole brand new shoe. I can't tell you how happy I am. And it matches my skin <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm so happy. I can feel this already making my foot work. Is it? Mm-hmm. Because when I went on to point, the cramp came, eh? It's like you, yeah, which is awesome because it feels like you can pull up more. I have just had to change my top because that other one was so uncomfortable. Um being being over and everything anyway okay now for the right foot so first i'm going to put the toe cap on i love the way i'm doing this like i'm a professional doing this forever but first time second time putting these eight point shoes on so now i kind of know what i'm doing and then you take your you cut a little bit too little off on the other side so 
I just want to cut a little bit more. Okay, and then you just put the tape down like that. And then what the lady said is that she likes to do two layers. So I'm also going to do two layers because I'd rather do too much than too little. <laughs> okay, like that. So you hold it like this. Apparently, you've got to hold this quite wide, like this. And then you've got to like get the tip in there. Okay. And then because this is very stiff fabric over here so once it gets past this section it's very difficult to kind of wiggle in unless you've got it in the correct way i found after doing it once so see this is my second time doing it i think it's just that first time where it's like oh my goodness what is actually happening here but there we go this one's going in nicely I have a feeling actually that what's happening is that the tape gets, um, like comes undone as it's getting pushed in. And I think that's why you're supposed to like, I saw in the video, she kind of like put the black tape all the way around. She didn't leave a gap at the back. And I think that's maybe why. Alrighty, there you go. Okay, the shoe is in. Fantastic. So what you do is to fold it over, is you literally go like that and then you can kind of like <laughs> weave it around on the sides and then it goes over so you've got to fold it from that back spine you know what I mean now what did I do on these shoes let me just remind myself okay so small I did in the center one like this you just kind of like bend the, the spine of the back it's in Okay, and then what I did with these ones was also I went from the middle, just the second from the top one, and then into the top one. So I'll show you up close what I did, like that. Um, and actually, I think because well, I'll see when I put them on. But I think that if you've got slight variations in your foot, like one foot can sometimes be stronger than the other one then you can actually adjust the shoe accordingly to provide more give or constraint restriction is that the right word i think look i don't know much about these point shoes but this is just my understanding or thinking about it okay so now toe cap on point shoe on actually let me go on my knee maybe this will be easier then we go oh it's on the by sewing machine by my, by my sewing machine sorry there we go and it is on 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 Ooh. guys these shoes are so comfortable feels like i'm wearing socks literally feels like i'm wearing socks now i want to put the other one on and then i'll show you a little bit of a pitter patter okay so folding down from there this is a bit of a workout perfect Okay, and then, and I tied them both not too tight, more loose, the straps, and a little bit looser, a little bit looser, and then we pull the, oh, the skin over, and there we have it. Okay, oh my word such cool shoes I think that oh oh they are beautiful oh wow I can't tell you how nicely they hold you up oh my word let's see here it's gonna roll down wow and you can roll down Okay, I think I will want to actually wear the laces. Um, so let me try it. Okay. 
does feel so soft. There. There. Yeah, there you go, like that. Cross around here and then to the other side. There you go. Like that. And then the ribbons are on. Oh, there you go. Done. I must say, it does feel a little bit like it pulls away here whenever you walk. You know what I mean? Like it pulls away a bit. But I think that's just something to get used to. Or maybe it's just because they're new and that fabric hasn't like started moving yet. But this is what they look like with ribbons on. I'm not going to do a chapeze and stuff. I'm going to go to the studio tomorrow and try them out properly because I don't want them to get dirty just yet on this floor. I have just been having so much of fun filming content with these at point shoes showing them to the camera and everything and now I'm going to put them on. I've done a warm up and everything. I'm a bit nervous to dance on points because the last time I danced on point was over a month ago and even then I wasn't feeling confident on point. I think it's just been so many years since like religiously doing ballet every week, a couple of lessons a week. I used to, point work used to be my absolute favorite. I was fearless on point to say the least. I felt more comfortable on point than on demi point. Now it is my goal to get back to that point where I can say I am more confident on point than I am on demi point. And I'm so excited that now I can achieve that goal, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Zach, are you listening? <laughs> With these act point shoes. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. But I'm going to put them on now. It feels like it's pulling away from the foot a bit. Okay, let's try some suit and new turns. They feel incredible. Incredible. Other side? I'm scared of this foot though. I'm going to try some pose twist now. It's such a weird feeling when you walk. It feels like it's like pulling away here. So I don't know. Try the other side. The scary side. I feel like they've got so much more support than my previous point shoes. And again, my other point shoes were up. But these are beautiful.
sorry, I just wanted to sign off with saying this, that these queen sheets, they are incredible. I love them so much. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is that you probably noticed that the queen sheet looks like it's a little bit going on the side here. Like, it's not exactly in the center. Um, but it is not as bad as other queen sheets have been. Every other queen sheet I've tried on, the spine literally goes towards the outside of my heel here. And this one is just doing it slightly. So I think the adjustable straps really help with keeping it more in place. And the foot feels really secure. Like I would feel really safe on these point shoes. The only thing that was really making me scared was this floor. And besides my fitness, <laughs> is that this floor was extremely slippery and I'm not allowed to put any rosin or anything on it because it scratches the floor. So for now I just have to do use my core more because that's what I used to tell my ballet students when I taught. If you feel like you're going to slip, pull in your tummy more. So I must take my own advice. But anyway, I love these point shoes. How gorgeous are they? Oh, I love them so much. They are so comfortable. I can feel a little bit of pain coming over here on this bunion here. Um, but I mean, come on. <sighs> the point work. But also, it's, it's not like a blister pain. I think maybe my toe, toe cap has twisted a bit inside the point shoe. But anyway, I love them so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And my advice to you would be to try before you deny. <laughs>